Good morning guys. Um, it's Gabriella for those of you that don't already know. Um, it's Friday which means it is like weekly vlog chat time. Um, I didn't really know where to start with this video. I am denied about it and then I thought do you know what I just want to kind of sit down and do it. Um, Apologise for being a little bit dishevelled. Um, it's my actual day off day off. So um, yesterday anyway while I'm recording this was my full day off so I'm just yeah I was like I'm not doing anything <laughs> um so yeah I'm denied about this video um but this is about my fitness journey and why there's been such a blip slash quiet spell um that I know some of you that follow my sort of fitness journey account will have noticed um and I wanted just to kind of like dive into it a little bit and hopefully as well feel, make feel, other people feel less alone um, because yeah it's just it's not always as like cut and dry and easy as people like to make out or you know Instagram, Facebook, whatever, YouTube um, likes to make out sometimes so um, yeah I'll, I'll give a little bit of background and just sort of explain a little bit more. Um, so, I struggled with my weight for a very long time. Um, I, when I was little, I was actually very, very slim, very, very fit. Um, but because I was always taller and broader and a bit more foreign <laughs> um, than everyone else, um, I didn't fit in. So, I got bullied a lot. Um, yeah, a lot. <laughs> um, all through primary and secondary school. And so my weight then became an issue. When someone tells you you're fat for long enough, you believe that you're fat. Um, so despite the fact at the time when people were calling me fat, I wasn't, I became what they told me I was. Um, I think there's a life lesson in there somewhere for us all. Um, so yeah, then I ended up with um, issues with food. So I would emotionally eat and overeat. Um, to fill a void and a comfort and um, yeah I don't know self-fulfilling prophecy I guess so um, yeah I, I ate a lot <laughs> and became what they told me I was um, so it's been a really long journey for me like a really big journey for me to actually begin to love myself for exactly who I am and it's not been easy I don't want anyone to be like oh she did a few things and ta-da um, I'm 27 now <laughs> it has not been an easy journey um, I have done a lot of self work and I have had thankfully help from others um, whether that be friends or professionals so it's been a long journey um, and I have had to do a lot of self work whether that be spiritual, meditation, healing, um, constant growth, learning new ways that help me understand my own emotions whether that be writing or expressing in art or things like that so yeah it's been a lot um, and then at the end of not last year because it was the beginning of last year so the end of 2017 um, I think it was like mid-December I wanted to I'd, I'd upped and down a lot with my weight um, I'd done things like Weight Watchers and stuff like that um, and you know it helped to a degree it helped my weight which helped my confidence a little bit da -da -da -da. at the end of 2017 I got to a point where don't die battery I got to a point where for me it wasn't even about my weight anymore it was about my mental health and my physical health and how I was feeling um, and that was a huge turning, turning point for me that was a huge realization that um, for now at least it was about how I felt not how I looked so um, I took it upon myself um, I'd already been kind of going to the gym ad hoc and making a bit more of an effort there but I knew I wasn't training properly like I was just kind of doing bits here and there and not really understanding what I needed to do um and one of the lovely girls that I know from the gym I was using a um PT that was online based um they're amazing I can't fault them at all um body by JR if you don't know and 
So I got in contact and they gave me an online food plan and an exercise plan and I followed it to the T. And the differences in my energy, my body, my fitness, everything um, changed within the sort of first three, four months I was doing, I was on it. I was loving it. It made such a difference to me as a person. Like I really enjoyed now going to the gym and enjoyed all the fitness aspect of it and the changes I was feeling, the strength I was feeling, everything else, the balance I was getting, um, the flexibility I got. Um, I, oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and I was doing super well. And then um, my depression started creeping in a little bit. I then went away. Um, to visit family um, a lot happened there a lot positive um, some negative and it was only when speaking to my doctor actually that we realized that actually it was shortly after I returned from there that my depression really spiraled <laughs> and uh, yeah anyway long story short um, I ended up on antidepressants which I will never regret um, it was the best decision that I agreed to. It has made the biggest impact and difference in my life. And if that's a decision you're struggling with, try it, you know, um, there's no harm. Um, it gave me that space and that clarity and that distance from my depression to actually heal and grow. And I still have moments, I'm not gonna say that, I say that I don't but I feel more myself now than I have in years and I do mean years and I didn't realize until I felt myself coming back and I was like oh my god where has this girl been um she has not been here <laughs> and um yeah so in the past <laughs> since last April to now <laughs> Um, have been just me taking everything one day at a time. Um, my weight in that time has gone out the window. Um, and for the first time in a long time, for me, it wasn't about the weight. Um, I was actually still feeling good at looking at myself in the mirror, which before when I was at this weight, I wouldn't have. Self-love. <laughs> um, but now I'm at the point where the weight's getting to me a little bit, but I'm still very happy in myself. But for me, it's more the physical aspect, the um, energetical aspect, energetical, energetical, don't know if that's a word. The energetic aspect, um, the physical aspect, how I felt in myself when I was being fit and healthy as to oppose how I feel now where everything has kind of gone completely off track. Um, is huge <laughs> so i mean i think i had to go through what i had to go through at the end of the day i needed to go through that i needed to be what i'm on i'm still having some other discussions about some other health things going on which is why i haven't yet gone back to the gym it's been on sat on my to-do list but there's just been other things that i need to sort out first um which has been hard actually um especially when you you're at that point where you're like i need to go back i'm ready to go back <laughs> um so i'm hoping that will kind of change at the beginning of april that will be sorted hopefully and then i can put my focus back into my health and my fitness and i do want to log that i do want to take you on this journey of me kind of refining my footing um and kind of showing you that even if you go through some serious crap um you can do something positive you can come out the other end you can still be your best self even if you don't feel it right now so there's just a little bit there about why i haven't been um and how much i want to go back so yeah i hope this has kind of um helped you understand a little bit about me and stuff i enjoy and where i'm at and what i want um and that you'll join me on the journey following through and you know, I want to do videos there and showing you what I do and and how I'm starting to take care of myself again in other ways other than just um, the other aspects of self-care. So 
yeah i hope this has kind of given you a little bit about me and please feel free to talk in the comments box below i would love to talk to you all and if you're struggling at the moment know that you're not alone you are loved you're cared for and there will be people that will enter your life that will make everything change <laughs> so just hold in there um so yeah i'll speak to you all soon okay so um that my battery died um i had to come down so quickly um so yeah anyway i hope that it's helped in some way that you understand me a little bit more too and um i look forward to um talking to you more and i will see you monday for your weekly energy forecast so lots of love until then and have a lovely weekend bye